So another amazing exhibitor joining us right now who will be all set up at Showstoppers. Showstoppers, as you probably already know, happening February 10th at the All Saints event space. It's Mood Moss Flowers. And right now, uh, the owner, let's say hello to Eric Cardinal on the end. Hello, Eric. Hello, Dylan. How you doing? Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> I like that. Nice warm handshake. Uh, we also have uh, Katie Payne as well with uh, Mood Moss Flowers. Good to see you too. Hi. This is wonderful. Okay, so Eric, uh, how long has has your business been open for at this point? Uh, this coming August, it will be 14 years. 14 actually. years. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Got to be difficult when you open up a business. Uh, let's go back 15 years ago and you're thinking, is this going to be successful? Oh and boy, yeah. Beachwood here. was still uh, uh, in the early stages of getting up to where it is today. Uh, and it, it was a big step. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, right now, Beachwood is booming. Yeah. And uh, that's where we are right now in, in New Edinburgh. And What's your exact location? It's 186 Beachwood. All right, 186 Beachwood. And Katie, so uh, you've probably handled a few flowers in your day now. Yes, yeah, yeah I have. I think <laughs> About five or six years now. Been okay. Doing flowers. Um, that's fun. Eight months with Mood Moss Flowers. Yeah. Yeah. It's that's been great. Really fun. Uh, can you tell us then, uh, Showstoppers, Katie, what exactly will be taking place as far as your business is concerned? So this is the first time that we've been a part of Showstoppers. We're really, really excited about it. Um, we are going to be running a series of workshops. It's all going to be about making flower crowns. It's really a popular deal right now. People okay. love making flower crowns or, or just love making stuff themselves. So we're really trying to push flower the whole crowns. DIY. Yeah. Okay. Flower yeah. crowns. Okay. So we'll be making flower crowns, but we're also going to be selling little plants, things like our orchid plants and mm -hmm. little terrarium stuff. Okay. Yeah. So sorry, you have a workshop. So is there a set time when this is going to be taking no, place? No, I'm just going to be running them kind of all day long from 10 to 5. I'll be there and people can come and go as they please. From what I understand, it's going to be a really busy day. So yeah, super yeah. busy. Show stoppers for sure. Eric, what are you doing over there? It looks like you're already assembling stuff. Yeah, something that we I'm have putting together a, a bouquet. It's just a basically a sample of something we do on a daily basis at the shop. Um, this is something that uh, uh, anybody can walk in and get. Just walk in and say, "Hey, can you put together a bouquet? These are my specifics. These are the colors I'd like. It's the price range I'd, I'd be interested in." Uh, Valentine's Day. This will be something that we'll be doing. So many of. Um, oh, I can imagine you'll be yeah. busy. Yeah, we will be. Okay, so you also offer workshops at your location as well? Yeah, so this is something that we just started doing uh, fairly recently. The first three that we ran were kind of Christmas themed. So we did some wreath workshops and some outdoor urns, some centerpieces. Mm. So we're trying to push people to get really get involved. It kind of brings the community together. A lot of the people who joined us for Christmas didn't know each other before they came in, but they were all ladies that lived in the neighborhood and some gentlemen as well. Yeah. And they all sort of had little stories and anecdotes to share. Oh, I know that guy. And it was just nice. Oh, and that's it's nice. really fun. There's wine and cheese. It's after hours. Like, it's just fun. Sounds like a yeah. fun time. So what would you like to make here on a daytime? So this is kind of an example of the flower crowns that we're going to be doing um, at the Showstoppers. Okay. So again, a lot of people really love them. Um, I did it for a different event at one point and people were walking around wearing them okay. and it was really exciting. We see actually a, a picture of one of the finished products, just in case we don't have time yeah. here on, on live TV. Yeah, so but that was beautiful. a photo shoot that uh, we were asked to help out with. Um, beautiful model, obviously, and uh, a succulent orchid flower crown. Handsome horse, too. Yes. It's a good looking I horse. I think he should have had a flower crown yeah, also. That would have been adorable. <laughs> you know? Just around his ear, maybe just one side. Next time. Um, yeah, so I mean, they're they're easy to do, and I think a lot of people's thing is that they, oh, I could never do that. That looks really hard, but really, I mean, it's not rocket science. It's just getting to know the strategy and how to do it, and then you're you're good to go. Okay. So it's just basically a piece of wire, and you bundle together a couple of flowers, mm -hmm. get some more wire. Yeah. Lots and lots of wire. Lots of wire, right? Yeah, and you just feel free to just wrap. What, what if, you have, if you have like a gigantic head, is it, is it more expensive? I do have a gigantic no, head. You don't. No, I really do. And it's <laughs> no, you don't. on top Look of it, a thing. lot of hair. It's like a four gallon so drum. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? So buying hats are really difficult. Um, so what I do for myself is I always use myself as the model and realize that it'll always be smaller than that. Okay. Um, but I take two pieces of wire, which you can actually get these at the dollar store. Yeah. Um, and you just kind of wire them up like that. Oh, that's simple. And then you. Do one of those, okay. and I'm like, oh, 
Well, it barely fits my head, <laughs> so I know wire. it'll be okay. Because oh, okay. <laughs> it's about the average size. That's interesting. Eric doesn't like it when I try it <laughs> on him, so I try to. And look, look at him over there. He's just he's so I casual know. about this, and uh, and all the lady volunteers in here are getting excited. They're hoping that you'll hand that over to them. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Wow, what, so is there a name to this certain bouquet that you've made here? <laughs> One of the things that we're trying to um, get people to, uh, I don't know the right word for it, but we're trying to promote love yourself, pamper yourself for okay. Valentine's Day. Nice. Um, Eric and I talked a lot about this, and we feel like it's not only just the loved one, oh, my wife or my boyfriend or my girlfriend, it's, you know, it's okay to be like, you know what, I don't have anyone who's going to give me flowers, but I'm going to give me flowers, <laughs> Make right? yourself some flowers. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. So. I like that. that. That's good. That's really nice. Dylan. Yeah. Oh, I love what? yourself. Okay. I, thank you. This is for you. <laughs> <laughs> the colors bring out thank your Thank you, eyes. Eric. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep this on my, on my desk at work. Uh, thank you very much. As far as Valentine's Day is concerned, Eric, uh, it's a little awkward holding this now. Well, I can take it for you. you. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, sure. Um, how, how far in advance should people get in contact? You we're actually we're, starting we're to close. get some orders in uh, as of last week. I would say our, f our first few have trickled in. Yeah. Uh, I, I expect that this week coming will be obviously the big week and uh, with the Valentine's on a Wednesday it will be a busy a busy year for us. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is this the busiest time of year? Valentine's? Uh, it's a, typically it's the busiest two-day span. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say Mother's Day is generally a busier time of year it's just because the month of May is yeah. a, is, is always busy for yeah, us. Lots too. of flowers are coming Spring. out in May for yeah. sure. Yeah. We're really it's trying to promote people to pre-order though because exactly. it's really yeah, nice it's for them just to be able to come and grab and go as opposed to waiting in lines line. which with there mm -hmm. of course will be. And of course. So call in you know, even today, if you want, give us a call and order for Valentine's Day. We're ready and right. waiting. Exact location one more time. Uh, it's 186 Beachwood. It's the corner of Mary and Beachwood, right across the street from uh, Bridgehead Coffee. Can I have my flowers back? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, our good friends from Chio join us next right here on Daytime on Rogers TV.